Hello, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to the Bristol store. Today we're going to be having a look at the eighth generation of Kef's Q series of speakers. The 2017 range promises to be the best yet with tweaks and improvements to both the speaker cabinet and the drive units. Let's pop in the demo room, have a closer look. Okay, so here we have the Kef Q750. It's the medium sized floor stander. There is a larger one and a smaller one as well and they also make a center speaker, two stand mount speakers, and a matching subwoofer as well. So one of Kef's most iconic design features is the UniQ driver array. This places the tweeter in the center of this driver here to produce what sounds like and looks like a single speaker that can produce a very broad frequency range. It means that it reduces the gap between the treble and mid-range sound frequencies to produce a sound which is very three-dimensional and spacious. Improvements have been made to the higher frequency range of this speaker by adding a damped tweeter loading tube. This gives a clearer, detailed sound to the lower treble frequency range and is particularly good for vocal reproduction. With some of the speakers within the Q range which feature a bass port, improvements have been made here too. But it's not just a fancy hole at the back of the speaker. They call it the computational fluid design. This means that the bass port has been tuned to provide much tighter, more accurate bass, which keeps plenty of impact and presence. So the clean and minimalist design of these cabinets looks great. It's available in black and white to fit into any kind of living room environment. But it's not just the outside of them that is very smart. Inside, they have a series of internal bracing which reduce the effect of standing waves within the speaker. This results in much clearer mid-range and much tighter bass. As I mentioned earlier, the Q range has three floor standards. All three of them feature the UniQ driver array at the top, the bass driver just here, and two auxiliary bass drivers lower down, which are passive radiators to improve the performance of the bass. All three units are basically exactly the same, but the Q550 is the smaller version. That's ideal for if you've got a smaller room. And the Q950, they're the big ones. They're the ones that you want to have if you've got a large space to fill with sound or if you'd just like to have your music nice and loud. Kef has also brought out two stand mount speakers as part of the Q range as well. There's the Q150, which is the smaller one, and the Q350s is the larger version. They both feature the UniQ driver array, which has now been positioned in the center of the cabinet to improve its resonance. Home cinema enthusiasts haven't been left out either. There is the Q650C, the UniQ driver in the center of the speaker and two additional drivers either side. It ensures that you get good balanced sound stage and then it will tie in nicely with the rest of your CAF speakers and your 5.1 setup. We put together a 5.1 system using the KEF-Q components together with the Yamaha AV receiver and an Oppo 4K Blu-ray player. It was really easy to see why the KEFs are so highly regarded. The vocal performance for both music and films was absolutely fantastic. There was plenty of nuance, but with real weight and presence, and no unnecessary harshness to the treble. A well-controlled bass and mid-range tied beautifully together to produce a well-balanced overall sound. Kef's Q range just keeps getting better and better with every generation. The 2017 models really are their best yet, but unfortunately, you can't really hear that just by watching a YouTube video. So if you contact your local Richard Sound store, not only will we be able to arrange for you to come in sometime and have a listen to them for yourself, but we can also advise you on which speakers are the best for you. Uh, to find your local Richer Sounds store, please click the link just here. And if you enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber, please click here. If you found the video to be useful, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching.